Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Welcome to the week 39 update on the growing of my beard for an entire year. Today, let's find out how long my beard actually is. I honestly can't believe I've made it to the 39th week of this thing and I've never once measured my beard. Today, that's all gonna change. So, let's go through the entirety of my beard and measure everything from the mustache all the way down to the longest hair on my jaw. First on deck is the mustache. Let's see how long this sucker is. So, I mean, I'm looking in the monitor and I can see it stops about there, which is, I don't know, an inch and a half. And then down here, it's mm, maybe six inches. But honestly, this is not the best way to be measuring it. Just putting this tape measure up to my face and just guesstimating by looking in a monitor. I think what we really need to do is pluck out each individual part of the beard and measure it depending on the portion that it came from. So let's go ahead and let's uh, start with the mustache. I'm gonna pluck one of these out. This is a stupid idea, ow, 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 ow. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So let me break out this comb and uh, run through my beard a couple of times. I find whenever I'm combing my beard or brushing my beard, I tend to lose like three to five hairs which is not a big deal. A lot of people freak out whenever they lose hairs whenever they're combing. That's completely natural. Your hair is cycling. They fall out and then new ones grow. You don't need to worry about that. Your beard's not falling off. So let me just go ahead and run this through my beard a few times and we'll get hairs from each individual section. All right, I've collected hair from my jaw, my chin, my cheeks, and finally my mustache. So let's drop this bad boy down and take a closer look at how long these beard hairs are. Now, in what will probably go down as my weirdest or grossest video I've ever made, I've laid out the four sections of my beard going from shortest to longest. So from top to bottom, we see mustache and cheek hair, then chin hair, and finally hair from my jaw. If you haven't already noticed, I have very curly beard hair. So it'd be tough to measure how long these things actually are without straightening them out first. So to combat that, I'm gonna tape each end down so that we get the true length of each hair. Keep in mind, by taping these down, we are gonna lose just a very small amount of each hair, but I don't think this should affect the overall length of each strand. And there we go. That took an embarrassing amount of time to do. And again, this is not gonna give us a 100% accurate measurement of each individual strand, but this is more or less to just get a good idea of how long my beard is in each section. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it and measure the mustache hair. So I remember that I taped it down right about there. That's where it's going underneath. And you can see it ends right about here. So we'll call that about an inch and a half on the mustache, which is actually a bit longer than I was expecting. Next, let's go ahead and tackle the cheek hair. So the cheek hair begins right about there and it ends over here. We'll call that two inches over here. Now let's take a look at the hair that was taken from my chin. Beginning right about here and running all the way over here. It's just a little bit over two inches. And finally, let's take on the monster, which is the hair that came from my jaw, which is where the majority of my beard actually is. For this one, we can see it begins just under here and goes all the way to a little bit over or under six inches. We'll call that about six inches. We're being generous or we're being selfish here. Either way, I think six inches is probably a good place to call it. There you have it, guys. That is the actual length of my beard. I'm kind of surprised. It sort of was a little bit shorter and a little bit longer than I was expecting, especially in the mustache, which I've always thought was super, super weak. Now, I wouldn't exactly recommend that you go ahead and pluck out each individual part of your beard to measure it, but if you do find that your hair falls out sometimes when you're uh, given it a comb or a brush, maybe put it down next to a ruler or a tape measure and see how long your hair actually has been growing. I think you'll be surprised to see it's a bit longer than you think it is. All that being said, let's bring this on in and you guys can see the progress of this beard 39 weeks in. Welcome back. All right, let's jump right into the comment of the week. This one I actually pulled from my Did I Fail video back from week 37. I only saw it yesterday, and while it was a little bit weird to first read it, I thought about it for a minute, and it's important to bring these things up. So this is from Kristen Collins, and they say, you're growing a beard, not curing cancer. 
settle down, boys. So my initial reaction to that is, um, it's funny. It's one of those things that brings it back into perspective because when we do these sort of videos and we watch other people do these sort of things and we care for our beards and do all this stuff, we can tend to get a little bit self-absorbed and lose track of the bigger picture. Yes, this series is fun. Yes, it's informative. And yes, it is hard work to grow out a beard for a long time. But again, you got to remember, it's just hair on your face. At the end of the day, the world will not begin and end because my beard stopped growing a week or whatever. So it's important to keep these things in mind. Kristen, thank you for reminding me of that. But that being said, I really do enjoy all these supportive comments. Those ones are always really fun to read. And hey, I do like the constructive criticism every once in a while. It's good to learn things along the way while I'm doing this because as with you guys, I am learning things as I'm doing this. So that'll wrap it up for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and everything else in between. And until next week, Keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.